everybody welcome back to another video so in today's video i have sold my s14 the white rocker bunny boss kit front and with the ls1 engine to my good friend ben and he has been practicing in his sort of street spec 350z drift car and uh he definitely had progressed a lot in the last few days in last um couple of months i would say um and uh, he really wanted to jump into something more next level and he liked the v8 he likes um, the noise of it and also probably the handling of the Sylvia. So now he has purchased the white S14 that you guys have seen in the intro. Uh, so that car is pretty cool. That used to belong to a couple of my other friends. Uh, originally belonged to my friend Jin. He has drifted in D1NZ a little bit and um, was running different setup. Then they were sold to my other friend Jordan. Uh, he also comes through Drift Academy. I knew Jordan. He's a very nice guy. Um, he had a lot of fun with this car and now he's moving to BMW. So I have tidied up the car um, and uh, tested the car and the car was real good like platform. So um, now it's sold to my friend Ben. He'll be able to enjoy all that V8 uh, madness pretty much. Um, apart from that today we also meet up with uh, Genesis Massive, put on a private uh, day for them. So good to see Dan and Brad and all their friends bring down some cool cars, then bring their GZ100 of course and um, I was quite happy to actually strap it into my drift taxi and uh, uh, just give them a whole lap. So Dan from Genesis Massive has been an amazing supporter in the last year or so of Evergreen Drift Park. Um, his business Genesis Massive is actually a uh, fabrication shop or dyno shop or any sort of uh, modification shop you would say. Like amazing workshop and they have so many cool toys. So today finally I have an uh, opportunity to take them, their staff, their friends uh, jump into the drift taxi, you know, go for a lap. So I'm right now just striping them in. Uh, with the drift taxi, of course, um, we have four bracket seats, so we'll be able to uh, stripe three people in at the same time. And this day is beautiful. So the weather is real nice, very sunny, and real hot, and the drift taxi looks amazing in person. So, um, and especially for the people who never done drifting before, um, you know, striped in men in the back seat is give them an amazing feeling you know if you sit in the back you get a lot more angle than the front and so now we are pretty much ready to go uh, we're just strapping myself in and uh and we're just about to jump on the evergreen drift park and give it a whole lap with the dan in the passenger seat quite a few fun drift taxi ride with the guys from Genesis Massive and I'm sure they absolutely love it as well and later on they're putting their own cars onto the track uh, but shortly after this Ben had asked me uh, he wanted to drift at the track with his brand new S14 LS1 just purchased from me and uh, I said why not let's go, go for it uh, I was just kind of thinking you know jumping from the S14 uh, no actually jumping from uh, the 350Z onto the S14 uh, the chassis is quite different, the setup is quite different and especially the engine, the power and everything like this S14 offers is a lot more violent, a lot more brutal compared to uh, the straight spec 350Z he got. So I'm kind of like a little bit 
excited but also worried at the same time just don't want him to go 100% all out uh, but guess what you know Ben's very very good at it he did take a little bit slow for the first couple of laps but after that he's right into it and he better link up the track in the brand new car crank a lot more angle and I can just tell that he is absolutely having fun with his V8 drift car he's enjoying that noise and he just basically piloting it away let's check it out Right? Yeah, only driven it for a couple yeah, of times. A couple of times. They Already getting used to the V8. Very much. Big angle. <laughs> Maybe he, he addicted angle kit. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so today's Ben's first time drifting this uh, S14 with a LS1, yeah. but also uh, you know has to adapt it with a big angle kit, more torque, more power. But he's doing super well. And I I, I found that when he jumped back into the 350Z, he keep looping up. <laughs> so he need angle kit in that one. See. So Already got used to the big angle. Yeah. <laughs> so quick. Yeah, the V8 goes a lot faster, right? Yeah. It's doing a cool down now. Look, the car looks so awesome. Before the end of today's video, I just want to say massive thank you to Dan and the boys behind Genesis Massive. They have been supporting Drift Park from day one. It's amazing to see how their workshop works and how many like great toys GZX they have. And um, yeah, even that thousand horse GDR is absolutely amazing. And uh, great to see my friend Ben is adapting from the 350Z spec onto a full race car and it's one. S14 and be able to just link up all the cores having fun in just one session All right, which car did you guys like the best? Is it the ZX100 drift taxi or the LS1 S14 drift car? They both look amazing and uh, comment below. Yeah, S14 or ZX100 All right, so if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you do it right now The buttons just down here and uh, click that bell as well So you guys get notification when we have a new video up but we are uploading daily, so we will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>